thermal vent experimental effect for beam lasers is one of the most useful engineering modifications available. This effect vents your ship's heat into your target, so long as you are striking that target, allowing for the use of much higher heat weapons or the use of shield cell banks without the need for heat sinks. Today, we're going to look at using thermal vent solely to vent heat, during silent running, and as part of an overall combat strategy. We're going to start with using thermal vent for its primary purpose, to vent heat. For these tests, I ran with four pips and weapons, but I should note that your pip placement will dramatically affect the heat generated by all weapons, with fewer pips generating significantly higher heat. For these tests, I bring myself to 100% heat using four short-range blaster railguns, then vent that heat to 1-2% to as quickly as possible. This was done with a single, large, fixed beam on a crate Mark II with each of the six blueprints available, with the times varying rather widely. The critical factor here is the amount of heat generated by the blueprint. The more heat generated, the more intense the thermal vent effect. Short-range blaster is the fastest, venting us from 100% in 8.5 seconds. Overcharged is second at 11.14 seconds. Lightweight is third at 12.37. Long range is fourth at 13.01 seconds. Sturdy is fifth at a much longer 26.17 seconds due to its thermal decrease. And finally, efficient is a distant sixth, never dropping below 24% heat no matter how long I fired. Here we see the effect of each of the six, side by side, to best illustrate the significant differences between them. Again, the lower heat generated by the blueprint, the less effective the eventing effect, making sturdy and efficient the least, and short-range blaster the most effective at simply venting heat. Now let's look at the effect of thermal vent on silent running, which in short is next to nothing. Here I engage silent running, allowing my ship to reach 100% before firing my beam. You'll see that due to the heat generated by my ship and the beam laser, this just isn't effective. With short range blasters slowly lowering my heat and blueprints like efficient and sturdy allowing my heat to increase. There is some effect slightly slowing my heat increase, but with all blueprints, this just isn't at all an effective strategy. Now we're going to look at using thermal vent as part of a combat strategy, using the effect to vent off the heat from high heat output weapons, such as short range blaster rail guns. For these tests, I'll continue to use my four short range blaster rails and a single large fixed beam. While I'll be running myself above 100% heat, I am trying not to burn myself to death, holding fire until my heat has lowered. The goal here is to drop the shields on Commander Cement's Corvette by 25%, from 100% to 75%. I'll again be running four pips and weapons, with overall damage and distributor draw will come into play, 
Starting with a surprise, Efficient is the fastest at 37 seconds. Lightweight is second at 41 seconds. Overcharged comes in third at 44 seconds. Short Range Blaster is fourth at 46 seconds. Sturdy is fifth at 47 seconds. And bringing up the rear is Long Range at 49 seconds. This is due to the much lower distributor draw, allowing me to fire the rails far more often than other blueprints. While in this case, Efficient is a great choice for damage output, that doesn't necessarily make it the best choice for this build. As I run two shield cell banks, using something such as long range will allow me to vent the heat from those much more easily, removing the necessity of a heat sink. Long range also works well in conjunction with my short range blaster build, allowing me to engage targets at distance, then employing my rails once they are in close. It should again be noted that your distributor settings factor highly into how heat is generated by weapons. The more pips and energy in your weapon's capacitor, the less heat will be generated. Again, the primary factor used by thermal vent to determine how much heat is vented from your ship is how much heat is generated by the base blueprint. So like almost everything related to engineering, there is no hard and fast rule, and your entire build and how you plan to use your various weapons together with the rest of your modules will determine what is most effective. Can you run efficient thermal vent? Sure. Will it give you maximum heat dissipation? Absolutely not. Does it potentially do the most damage? Absolutely yes. Hopefully this look at the thermal vent experimental effect has answered more questions for you than it's raised. I'm very interested to hear how you use this and on what ships in the comments below. I'd also like to again thank Commander Cement and the staff at Level 11 for their assistance with this testing. This has been Commander Exegius of edtutorials.com reminding you to fly dangerously and thanks for watching. If you're new to engineering, I hope you'll visit edtutorials.com for guides from a wide array of top players and groups, that you'll join me on my weekly live streams, you'll consider subscribing and supporting me here or on Patreon.